So let's try this one. Um, we're going to compare Q and K to determine the reaction direction this time. Uh, for the reaction that's pictured on the board, um, at what point during the reaction um, uh, does the concentration of N2O4 equal 0.12 molar and the concentration of nitrogen dioxide equal 0.55 molar? Um, so let's figure that out. Let's figure out what QC is at that point in time. Okay, that's what it's asking. So, how do we do QC? First thing, we got to figure out well, what is QC? So, gas, gas, so both of them are going to be in it. NO2 squared divided by concentration of N2O4, like that. So remember, QC, no units. So it doesn't matter if you put your molarity in here or not, okay? So I'm just not going to do it just for a change. Okay, so at the top, I'm going to put 0 0.55 and square that. And at the bottom, 0 0.12. So when I do this 0.55 squared divided by 0.12, I get, well, the two sig figs, 2.5. Okay? So 2.5 is QC. Right? So let's box that in. Is that equivalent to 0 0.21, 2.5? No, clearly not. So it's bigger than it, right? So let's write that down. So QC is greater than KC. Does that make sense, everyone? QC is greater than KC. So is this reaction at equilibrium? That's one of the things it's asking us. No, it's not at equilibrium. Why is that? Because if it were at equilibrium, what would happen? Q and K would be equal, right? Um, then the next thing it asks us, well, since it's not, which direction is it progressing? Is it progressing towards products or towards reactants? Towards reactants, right? So if Q is bigger than C, then it's going back towards reactants. Everybody okay with doing a problem like that? Pretty, pretty good. You guys are doing pretty good. 